A happy-go-lucky youngster, actually. He had a dog. He had a bicycle. He belonged to the Y. He used to go to the Y and go swimming. I know many a time while at work, he'd come in to see me from the Y, ringing wet and being the winter time. And I'd tell him he was going to catch cold because his hair was still wet like all boys. He wouldn't dry himself thoroughly. He loved to play Monopoly. He knew any and everything there was to know about animals. He studied animals, was often in the zoo, and as we know, he was picked up in the Bronx Zoo while in New York uh, uh, playing hooky from school. And I consider that normal also, playing hooky from school. Many, many boys do this. We know, and it's sad and unfortunate, that Lee was deprived of his father, and he was born two months after his father had expired. But we must understand that Lee had two brothers, so he was not raised just with a woman alone. Mrs. Oswald, uh, how old was Lee when he went in the Marine Corps? And Lee was exactly 17 years old when he went in the Marine Corps. He enlisted on his birthday. Mrs. Oswald, why do you think your son went to Russia? I think my son was sent to Russia. Uh, you see, Lee uh, knew Russian fluently read and write. Uh, he filed an application for Albert Schweitzer School, and on the application, I have an original application, it stated that I speak and write Russian. Where did he learn this? This is what I was going to tell you. He learned this while in the Marines, because Lee was in the Marines, and only out three days when he went to Russia. So Lee had to learn this while in the Marines. What did you think about uh your son marrying a Russian girl? Well, to me, uh, a Russian girl, uh, any foreign girl, a Negro, or just any human being live and breathe just like I do. And so it made no difference to me that he married a Russian girl. I believe that Lee was told to marry the Russian girl. He probably loved her and was going with her because he knew her six weeks when he married her. But I think that he had orders from the State Department to marry the Russian girl. Mrs. Oswald, do you feel that your son was an agent of the CIA? Yes, it's not that I feel that he was an agent of the CIA. It's because I have so much correspondence with the State Department, plus the letters that Lee wrote to me from Russia, that indicates that he was an, uh, an agent of our government, definitely. Did he ever intimate to you in any way that he was an agent of the government? No, and there again, this is Lee's disposition. He wouldn't tell a mother that he was working for the government. Possibly he might think that I might give the secret away. I'm under the impression that when you are a CIA or any uh, undercover agent, then naturally you're a little secret about it, and the boy wouldn't tell me that. 